Well, this is a night many Buffalo Sabres fans have had circled on their calendars for months. Ryan Miller's name and number will hang in the Key Bank Center rafters alongside other Sabres legends. Our Tara Lynch spoke with his former teammates to learn more about this Sabres icon. Tara. Jackie and Dave, Ryan Miller, the accolades list is just endless. I'm going to list a few of them here for you. He's a Vesna Trophy winner. He's won the President's Trophy. He went to the Olympics. He was the MVP there, got a silver medal with Team USA. The list goes on and on tonight. He's adding to that trophy case with his name and number now going to hang in the Key Bank Center rafters. I spoke with some of his former teammates this week. They described him as special, unique, and classy. They took the mask off this legendary goaltender. He liked to joke and say unique and all this serious and all this, but he was classy. He did everything with class and dignity, and you know that's that sums up his performances. He's he's a team guy, but in his way. My roommates went from PD to Ryan, so uh, for me it was watching Step Brothers in <laughs> Wedding Door Crashers. Door opens at five in the morning <laughs> to come in. Door opens at six a.m. to go out to yep. prepare. Two think, totally different yeah. types of lifestyles. Yeah, I think he, when he, he might have been the first one to, to teach me to fold clothes and stuff like that, <laughs> right? So we all know goalies have their their things. Every yeah. every goalie, but you you played with Dom, you played with Miller. You know what were Miller's things? He wore his suit Dude, in the yeah. trainer's room and he would tape two new sticks. Yeah. Then he would go and take that suit off and get that skinny body into his underwear. Yeah. Okay. Then he would, remember the tennis ball routine? This guy was like, it it's was, exhausting you just could to think about it. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was like, you could literally know where Millsy was any, any moment on a game day. You knew where he was, you knew what he was doing, you knew how he was preparing. As we see these jerseys at every single Sabres game or whatever jersey he, he had. I mean, he was here for quite a few of them. Why do you think he's so beloved? The first time he held his catwalk for charity was the first time that I had been a part of a charity event that was, let's go have a party. Let's have fun. And it's driven by the players and let's do it. The players were told, stick to sports. You play, you practice. Give us results, that's yeah. it. And and Milsey did the foundation and did the events in Buffalo, and the community loved it. When you have a player of that caliber um, embedding himself in the community like Ryan did, I mean, how can you not love the guy? He's very calm, cool, and collected all the time. Doesn't show a lot of emotion. Was that different in the locker room? Were there any moment, or as a roommate, were there moments where we, you saw a different side of him than the fans or the media. We're at CCB in the basement having dinner. There's a band playing for us. Now all of a sudden the band decides, okay, well, we're going to take a break. And sure enough, Mill Z, Tony Ludman, uh, Roy Z, you guys might have been in there too, like decided to go up, grab the instruments, and basically take over. That band never touched their instruments again for the rest of the night. They took over the rest of the night. Nobody was dancing when the band was there. Everybody was dancing when it was those guys playing. It was like, yeah, it was pretty fun. I don't think in all my years being a part of the Sabres organization from 1998 when I was drafted to now that I've ever seen a player love being a Sabre more than Ryan Miller. I, I mean that. He loved being a Sabre. This whole night doesn't surprise me. I mean, I think, you know, after the Olympics, would anyone have guess that this wouldn't happen you know I mean it's just a matter of time whenever he decided to retire that you know they were they were going to do it no one's worn the number since so you know it was almost inevitable and from speaking with fans here today they agree with that last statement that it was almost inevitable that this night would come. If you are coming out to the game, the Sabres encourage you to be in your seat by 550. The festivities will start at six o'clock for now reporting in downtown Buffalo. Tara Lynch News 4.